three, two, one. Uh, let's see. Three, two, one. In this game of solitaire, we're going to say that it is the east round that could impact decision making because that is one of the scoring elements, the wind of the round. There are many more. That's just one. So after we deal the tiles, we'll look at each player's hand and see where we can see, we see where, okay. Three, three, two is going on. Three, two, one. Okay, make it work. Cut. I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. If you have not played this version yet, look for a link below the video to a lesson playlist and a link to this player reference with all the scoring elements in it, 81 in all. It's a little overwhelming, but don't let that stop you. It's a lot of fun to play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. For this game of solitaire, we're going to say it's the east round. You got to have eight fawn minimum in your hand to qualify to win. We'll deal the tiles. East will get 14. South, west, and north will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each one and see where there's potential for those eight fawn. Everybody has their tiles. So let's look and see what each player has, starting with East. So for East, we have more BAMs than we do cracks and dots. We also, though, have a pair here. We do have a one, two, one, three, two, three. I'm thinking we should maybe try for mixed triple chow here. Mixed triple chow is number 41, three chows of the same sequence in a different suit, and that is eight fawn. So we have a north and a west. It's east round, and this is east seat. So those won't give any score. I think mixed triple chow might work here. Let's look and see what we can do for south. Look at all those single honors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We should play 13 orphans. 13 orphans is one of each of the winds and dragons, one of each of the ones and nines, and then any tile paired. We can start by discarding these, and maybe 13 orphans, because it's so difficult, could be plan B, and a half flesh can be plan A. Bams with honors. We do have a flower, so let's go ahead and get a replacement for that. A nine. Look at that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I think we should go for it. Thirteen orphans. Thirteen orphans is one of the terminals and honors hands, and this is number seven. Eighty-eight points. That's one of the highest scoring elements. 
Okay, now let's look and see what we can do for west. They have a pair here. They do have eight, seven. Oh, here's a nine. And there's an eight, nine. There's some mixed triple chow potential. Maybe even mixed shifted chows. Let's get these exchanged and see if we get some help from the back of the wall. Yes, a seven. So here we have an eight, nine, seven, nine, and then we have an eight and a seven. Oop, there, seven, eight, nine. Now, another thing that we might be able to do is something called outside hand, where there's a one or a nine or an honor in every block. Four blocks and a pair, and if everyone has a one or a nine and an honor, that's called outside hand. That is number 55, and that is four fawn. Four fawn, so we would need score elsewhere. Maybe mixed triple chow, which is eight fawn. Mixed triple chow, number 41, eight fawn. Okay, we'll see. Let's look and see what we can do for north now. Everybody has mixed suits, which, you know, is expected because there's three numbered suits, one through nine, you're gonna get an assortment usually. So here, maybe what we could do here is six, seven, eight. I keep seeing mixed triple chow, eight, seven, eight, six, that's going to be a stretch though. Let's see, what else could we do here? One, two, three, two, three, three. There is another mixed chow fawn called mixed shifted chows. Three chows. one of each suit, each shifted one from the other. So it would go like one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five. So that potential is there. Now there is, since we do have three honors there, we could maybe do lesser honors and knitted tiles. That's number 34. Oh, did I say, let's see, mixed shifted chows is number 51. Okay, so lesser honors and knitted tiles is number 34. Odd honors, meaning single honors, wins and dragons, and then 147, 258, 369, Here's a three, here's a three, here's an eight. Okay, so there's a little bit of potential there. I don't think enough to make that plan A. Two, five, eight, one, four, seven, seven, one, four, seven, three, six, nine. I think I would probably start by discarding the eight crack and just take it pick by pick maybe push a half flesh. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. So East is going to start by discarding. I think mixed triple chow might be good or outside hand. So let's discard the six crack. So six crack was discarded. We're gonna draw now for this player. Eight bam. If we go for a half flush, that might be good. We have a seven, eight, nine potential, one, two, three potential, four, five, six. There is a scoring element called a pure straight. Pure straight 
is number 28, sequence of one and nine and one suit, plus any other meld and a pair. That's 16 fawn. So let's go ahead and get rid of these dots. And then now we can draw up here. Flower, four flower. That's for west. Five bam, five bam. Okay, that would not be helpful for outs. Let's see, what was I thinking? Outside hand up here, maybe outside hand or mixed triple chow down here. Let's get rid of, let's see, six, six crack. Let's get rid of the six crack. So six crack was discarded. Let's draw up here. Red, oh, they paired up. Any pung of dragons, three of a kind, is two fawn. So we don't want to do knitted here because you can't use a pair. I think we need to get rid of probably these suits here. Let's void a suit. Let's get rid of the three crack. Avoid, avoided suit, meaning you have two suits represented, that's a fawn. So let's just see what happens. Down here, we have one, two, three crack. Let's chow and push for mixed triple chow. So here's a chow for east. One, two, three, one, two, three. These are not gonna have any value for this player. So let's discard the honors. That also is a fawn. No honors is a fawn. So that could help them if we get rid of the honors. So West was discarded, nobody can take it. So let's draw four crack. That's not helpful. Let's go ahead and just void a suit, seven dot. Up here we can draw nine crack. That might be helpful for outside hand. Two could be used for outside hand. Really these two and this could go away. We have mostly bams. Let's go ahead and discard this four dot and just see what happens. We have now seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine potential. So we could play mixed triple chow here. And they have three flowers too, which do not count with your minimum, but that will help them bump up their score. So we are going to draw for north, west. West was discarded. That won't give them any score, but let's go ahead and continue with voiding a suit. Eight crack. It's this player's turn. Now this player has pair. They could pung that, but that would take away their potential, at least for the short term, for a chow, 789, 789, 789, which they have in hand. I think I would not take it. So let's go ahead and draw for east. Five bam, five bam. So we have a one, two, three out, one, two, three potential, one, two, three potential here. Here's a potential chow. Let's go ahead and get rid of the north. This eight is isolated. We could probably get rid of that and maybe even the one. We still need a pair in here too. So north was discarded. Nobody can take it. Four dot. We're going to discard that. And we'll draw. Nine dot. All right. Well, let's see here. Nine dot, if we're doing seven, eight, nine, let's go ahead and get rid of the south because maybe we could do no honors there. Let me see here, does no honors mean no terminals as well? Let me just see. Winds and Dragons would be no honors, number 76. 
and that's one fawn. So we threw a south, nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Three dot. Okay, now we have more bams, or more dots than we do bams. Potential chow, potential pung. We need to come up with eight fawn here. Half flesh is six, dragon pung is two. I think we should go ahead and get rid of these. Oh, if we did a dragon pung of two, concealed, all concealed, not fully concealed, but all uh, concealed hand is two, that would be four, plus all, uh, yeah, that's not gonna be enough. We have to push a half flesh. Let's get rid of this one, cra uh, one bam. One bam down here, we're gonna chow. Chow. Okay, we need a one, two, three here to make this work. And now everyone's gonna see that we have a one, two, three and two chows out there. So they're gonna know we're trying for mixed triple chow. Now mixed triple chow is eight fawn, just trying to make sure. Okay, now we need to look and see what's out. None of these are out. We need a pair still. Since we have one here and we're gonna use it in a chow, that leaves only three left. Let's discard the one dot. <coughs> Although that could signal to the table that we need a two or a three. Maybe we should hold it. Let's throw the eight dot. I don't know if that was good logic or not, but that's what went through my mind at the moment. Okay, now we're gonna draw here. Six dot, that's no good. No good, we're gonna draw up here. Now, we got seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. We don't want that six. It looks pretty, but we're going for a seven, eight, nine mixed triple chow. Green dragon. That could potentially bring score, and it's an outside tile. Let's go ahead and get rid of the five bam. That is an inside tile. So we'll see what happens there. We can get rid of that four maybe next. So five bam was discarded. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw. Two bam. Ah, oh, that's a pair. Pair, pair, pair. Let's go for all pung. All three of a kind. I believe it's six fawn plus a dragon pung would be eight. So let's just look, all pung, and they have a voided suit as well, that's a fawn. So all pung, where's that? All pung 49, number 49, that's six fawn. So five bam was just discarded. We need to pair up. So let's go ahead and get rid of that five bam, did I? Is that what I said? Five bam? All right, anyway, down here, we have a one, two, three, a one, two, three and bams, one, two, three and cracks. Here's the one, two, three dot. Five bam was discarded. We, we don't wanna take that, we need to draw. Well, we can't take it. We need a, a six bam, and then we need a, either um, an eight bam or a six bam. Actually, if we get rid of these, we could maybe even do an outside hand here if we get a nine bam because we have a one, two, three mixed triple chow. Seven, eight, nine. If we get an honor or maybe a one or a nine, that might be nice. There's a one bam. All right. So now I think. We're heading into the middle game. So we need to keep some potential there. And pairing up a one bam, well, there's already a one bam out, actually. Hmm. Let's see. So we need a pair in here. We've got a potential chow here, a potential chow there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the five bam because we only need one more potential chow, because we have a potential chow here. 
If we get rid of these middle numbers, we might be able to do outside hand. If we can pair up the ones, that would be additional score. Outside hand, again, is number 55, and that's four fawn. So a five bam was discarded. Here, we're maybe trying for 13 orphans, and we have all these singles. There's a north out, a south out, there's a one bam out, which we're fine there. None of these other tiles are out. We could actually take that five bam with a chow, leaving an isolated tile and a potential chow. So we only have two sets to leverage here. All these are singles. We can do nothing with those. I think in their situation at the moment, I think I would rather stay concealed and see if we can make this um, 13 orphans work. Let's draw, at least for this turn. Nine crack, we got a pair. We got a pair, you gotta have a pair in one of those tiles. Four crack. We need to get a one dot and a nine dot. That's where the weakness is at the moment. One dot, nine dot, north and south. So four crack was discarded. Let's draw. Six bam. That's, uh, let's see, let's just put that in there. All right, oh, I was thinking outside hand here or mixed triple chow with seven, eight, nine. There's a potential chow here with a two, four. Here's a two, six. There's some redundancy here. This could potentially bring score if we pair up. Let's discard the six bam. Because we would need a five bam and there's already two out. Six bam, we're gonna draw. We need to pair up here. One bam, no. There's one out at the moment. One bam. Let's discard the one bam down here. So there's two one bams out. There's one here. There's only one more left. So pairing up is going to be a challenge there. Let's draw five crack. Drawing four south. Last tile in the second wall. North. They got the north. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Oh man. Okay, we have to decide. Oh, let's see. We're three away from 13 orphans here, but we have a gap with no one or nine. Let's discard this eight bam and take it further. Why not? Okay. So that was the last tile on the second wall. It is West's turn. We're going into the middle game now. So this player here needs a one, two, three, chow, and then pair up. This player's going for 13 orphans. They need one dot, nine dot, and a south. This player needs seven, eight, nine, mixed triple chow. This player needs to pung and pair up. Three crack. Okay, that could help if we play outside hand. That's where one and nine is in every block or an honor. Let's get rid of the four bam. Okay, four bam. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw seven dot. We paired up. Potential pung with any pair. One, two, three, four. Okay. West was discarded. There, there is a six bam out. These can potentially, this one could potentially bring score. Both of these are actually out. Let's go ahead and discard the West. 
We don't want to be left waiting on a pair with an honor because you may never get it. So let's draw now for east. They got a north. Let's discard that. They got their north. We're good to go. We need a one dot or a nine dot. <gasps> one dot! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, they're one away from 13 orphans. Let's discard the three. Bam. We need a south or a nine dot to be ready on 13 orphans. Up here, seven, eight, nine. We have a potential pair there. Two, let's see. What did I throw? Three, bam. They can't take it. Nobody can. We're going to draw. East. Okay. Let's see. There's two one bams out. Let's get rid of the two bam because getting a one, two, three is going to be hard. There's also a one, two, three chow out right now. So we just threw a two bam. I put that in the wrong place. Two bam up here. We're going to pong. Pong. Let's see. So if I'm over there, let's see. I'm player on my right. So that's what that will look like. Okay. Pung, six bam. There's one out. We'll throw that. Six bam. We have one, two, three, potential one, two, three. Let's chow. Chow. If they can get a pair in here, they'll be ready to win. Or if they can get that two dot. There's two one bams out. Let's go ahead and throw the one bam. Up here now. We need a south or a nine dot to get ready for 13 orphans. Five crack. Up here, drawing. Five bam. Nope, we want outside hand or seven, eight, nine. We're going to throw the five bam and draw for north. Three crack. That is a discard. North through three crack. Drawing for east. Five crack. Okay, here we go. South, come on. South. Two dot. Oh, two dot. Darn it. Let's throw it. Two dot. Okay, up here. No, that's three dot they need, not a two dot. Nobody can take the two dot. This player needs it. Let's draw. Eight bam. Oh, nice. They got a chow. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, two, three, east green, singles, no good. Let's discard that east and draw four north. Nine bam. They have two bams out in a pung. Nine bam, two dot, south was discarded before. Let's go ahead and discard that. That's the second one out. So this player needs to be aware of that. Let's draw. Seven bam. There's one out in a chow at least. There's a four bam out. Okay, seven bam, seven bam. We'll draw four south. Four crack. Darn it. I want them to win. Okay, four crack. Now you can chow here, but we're trying for outside hand. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, and a pair. So let's draw six dot. We don't want that. That's a middle tile. Up here, we need to draw nine dot. Okay, we're trying to pair up here. There is a nine dot out, I believe. No. Why did I think there was a nine dot out? Let's discard the nine bam. Okay, we need to pong, 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 pong down here. Nobody can take that nine bam. Six dot. Four bam is out. Six dot is out. Two six dots are out. Let's throw that. Always look at the discards. Let's draw. We need a south or a nine dot. One crack. Yeah, let's keep it. Get rid of that four bam. Shoot. We need that nine dot or south. One away. 
So four BAM discarded, nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. Three BAM, that is a discard. Up here we can draw. Seven BAM, that's been discarded. Okay, drawing for east. Oop, nine BAM. Drawing for south. Three crack. Shoot. You know what? I probably should have kept that and discarded the one because we could maybe switch them to outside hand. They have so many singles though. If 13 orphans doesn't come in, you're kind of stuck. Just switch to defense with a bunch of honors and terminals. All right. It's fun to try though. Let's draw. Red. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, neither of these are out. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine, two, three, eight, eight, and nine. Let's get rid of the red and not hold on to the honors because maybe the numbers will have more chance of getting. Up here, we can pung. So player on my left, now we discard, let's discard the white dragon. Okay, down here, we're gonna draw for east. East, okay, here we go, south's turn. Oh, three dot. Okay, let's just keep going. Three dot, discard. Up here, we're gonna pung. All pung. Okay, now we need to pair, pair we need another pair in here. None, neither of these are out, none of those are out either. Let's throw the two dot two dot down here. Oh, oops. I probably should have thought that one through a little more because now they're gonna chow and they needed mixed triple chow. Oops, that was my bad. So this is West, player on the left, player on the left discarded. So we'll throw it like that. So that was a bad move on my part. I should have probably discarded the eight or the nine. So now we need to choose. I think there's two four BAMs out. Yeah. And there's one one dot. So let's throw that. And then up here we're gonna draw six BAM. Drawing for west, four BAM, they're all out. Drawing for north, two dot. Oh, and they got it again. That's funny. Well, surely no one's gonna want that now. Two dot, maybe. Okay, down here, drawing green dragon. We have no honors, let's throw it. Green dragon, nobody can take it. We'll draw here. One crack, oh shoot. Okay, let's throw one crack. One crack, up here we're gonna chow. There's a chow. Okay, now we want seven, eight, nine right here and we still need a pair. There's no nine dots out. We have an eight crack, the green was thrown. Let's throw that and nobody can take it so we'll draw. Six crack. Nobody can take that. We're gonna draw four east. When you're waiting for one tile, I've been told that's called a naked wait. I didn't make it up. I just heard it somewhere. Flower. Flower. 
nine crack. Okay, now there's, I don't think there are any nine cracks out. Let's switch and get rid of the one dot. So we need a nine crack now. Better chance maybe. So now let's draw. Oh my gosh, two dot, shoot, two dot. Okay, here we go, up here. Whoopsies. Flower. Flower. East. That's out. These exposures are getting a little crowded. Okay, so uh, we threw an east up here. Five crack. That's been thrown several times. Down here, east, ready on a nine crack. Seven crack. Okay, seven crack. I don't think any of either of neither of these are out there is an eight crack out okay so we just have to pick one let's get rid of the seven crack i have heard that terminals are more likely to be discarded than middle tiles and a seven is more towards the middle let's see if we get a nine crack in a discard who knows this is a chow. You can't take a chow from the player across from you. We're going to draw. We just got through the middle game, third wall. We're going into the fourth wall, which is the end game. So we need to consider folding or pushing to win. They're ready. They're one away on the biggest, one of the biggest hands on the, in the whole game. This one, one away. They, all they need is a pair or a chow to get ready. And here, they're one away too. They just need a pair and a pung. So everybody's really close and it is the end game. Okay, so seven crack was thrown that means it's this player's turn now. Six bam. Oh my goodness. I wish they would get that south or north. This hand is still viable. Six bam. We're going to draw. <gasps> south. We're discarding that. Okay, there's still one more left. We're going to draw here. Seven crack. That was just discarded. Down here. Three bam, three bam, we'll discard that up here. Five dot, shoot, up here, drawing, six crack. Okay, let's look and see, seven cracks, there's two out, I believe. We need one right here, seven crack. Yeah, two out, this hand is still viable. Let's draw two crack. Okay, east, white. Drawing for south, four crack. Oh man, drawing for west, eight crack. There's their pair. We can throw the nine dot and they're ready to win on a seven crack. Right here, seven crack, and there are two out up here. Five dot, nine dot was just thrown. Let's discard that. I don't remember how many fives are out though. I think there's only one out. All right, here we go. Seven crack, discard, and that would be Mahjong right here. We have one exposure out. So here's seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, 
Oh, they did not get outside hand because they have a pair of eights. That, those are not outside tiles. So they're not going to get that particular element. But they have five flowers. Every flower is a fawn. Over and above the eight minimum. So they had mixed triple chow. That's their qualifying score. Mixed triple chow is number 41. That's eight fawn. They do have all three suits represented, of course, because they have mixed triple chow. They have no honors. That's a fawn. So that's going to be nine. No winds and dragons. That is a fawn. I believe that is all they have. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14. Let me just double check. Ooh, if this had been maybe, let's see here, sixes. They could have had all upper tiles. That's one that I've been trying to focus on, upper four. Upper four, but we have a lower block here. That's okay. Uh, let's see here. Two concealed chow, so nothing there. We had a an edge weight. Edge weight is one fawn. So that's eight, nine for the edge weight, one for no honors. So that's ten, fifteen. I think that's it. I'll double check myself. But I think they have fifteen fawn here. So for 15 fawn, this player would pay the basic points, which I believe is 15 plus eight extra points. And then these two would pay eight extra points. So 23, eight and eight. So that's 39. Well, that was a nice win. I like mixed triple chow. It's really easy to spot, I think, especially if you have mixed suits and repeating patterns with your sequences. So keep your eyes open for mixed triple chow. Eight fawn, that meets the minimum. Anything else on top of that is gravy. So South was one away from 13 orphans. That was exciting. I wonder where that nine dot is and that South. I'm going to peek. Okay, I peeked. Don't tell anybody. That's probably bad form. So two picks in the nine dot, the south, last tile in the wall, last tile. That was exciting. That's my favorite all time hand. Let me know if you have a favorite scoring element or a combination of elements that you play or see often, like a recurring pattern that is your, say, go-to. Maybe mixed triple chow is a good go-to. I don't know. I see it all the time. Between that and lesser honors and knitted tiles, for some reason I see that a lot too. Probably because I always get mixed suits and singles. I mean, that's when you look for those patterns. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. 
between now and the next solitaire for Mahjong competition rules. May all your picks be keepers.